thank you all for joining me and welcome back to icarus so i've been on for quite a while since the last video trying to find a mower uh, i kind of went to go and get some stuff like some iron well some sulfur and stuff like that uh just so i could see if i could find any and not one single thing at all it's very very frustrating so what we're going to do we're go there's a couple more things i want to add uh we've also got these i've got five of these so we're going to go and place those down and if we find a mower uh at the time of doing that then yeah now i'm wondering if i should maybe just sort of like come out and reload i don't know but uh yeah it's very frustrating i don't think i need to do that to be honest with you i shouldn't need to anyway Right, okay, so we're going to go ahead. I think I've already got a mark already fingered there. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll skin it, but I'm not going to take anything from it. Uh, so, apart from the arrow, because we've already got food and stuff like that. In fact, I need to eat. I just realized I forgot to eat. So let's go ahead and eat some meat. We go get all our buffs. Uh, I've got some screws on me. I didn't mean to... Uh, yeah, oh, oh, by the way, uh, the only downside to this is when the animals spawn in here, they try and get in here. I had a bear on the stairs there trying to get back out. So that's the only downside. The only thing I can think of is probably getting a um, uh, a spawn blocker on the base over there. Uh, so we could move that over there, but getting a bigger one. As long as we cover this area here, where we're actually building, then they shouldn't spawn in there. That's the idea anyway, but that doesn't mean to say that it's not going to be is that a wolf yeah it is doesn't oh there's another wolf there hi right okay so we're going to go and head over to where that uh mark is that i've put on and hopefully we'll find a mower it's so every time i've i mean last playthrough i didn't mower i mean we did find one but it still it took a while the same uh for one to spawn in and i had to go all over the place to try and find one but we did find one in the end, and it's uh, it can be very frustrating. So, yeah. Uh, although there's plenty of horses about compared to mowers. Although, usually I bump into mowers constantly. So, you know, it's kind of very frustrating, that's for sure. Uh, so, I've got to try and remember, because I've been distracted by Power World. Uh, there's some there's some ores down here that I, uh, I found. Uh, that I want to set up, but I can't remember which ones they were. I've got an idea of where they was uh, And I think they're pretty far from each other. They're not too far from each other, but they're far enough um, So we're gonna have to wire those up So yeah, okay, so the actual sulfur one we've got is over here. So And so it's time to actually start putting the beacons there so we can actually make sure we know exactly where they are Especially if I haven't been there for a while to collect stuff after a while then yeah it's just gonna be better so i know exactly where they are on the map um now i think it's even further down here isn't it? And i'm just gonna keep an eye out for a mirror of course as well yeah i know i can have a horse and stuff like that and i could have got one ages ago but i want the mower i don't want the horse it's faster and that's what i want i want speed I'm not bothered about the health bar i'm not bothered about how much you can carry i'm only bothered about the speed i've been able to get around uh the map a lot faster they're each their own dealer's choice and all that lot okay so it's just up here you can actually see the wind turbines there this is where this is so there's only one here so we've only got the two here uh this is the sulfur so we're going to go ahead and place one of these down right next to it and then we can go in here and i think what should i put on here I shall do it. I usually put a pickaxe. Is there any better ones? I'm just going to put a pickaxe. Okay, we're going to have that sort of like yellow. I think that would be for gold, wouldn't it? So yellow. And there we go. Okay, so that's where the sulfur is. And still no mower. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we're going to count how many times I say mower today or in the last video. Wow. Uh, plenty of bears about. Plenty of bears about, that's for sure, around here. Now, I know there are mows around here because I've actually taken them out uh, since we started on this playthrough here. So we're going to go and head back now. Uh, I'm trying to think of where else. 
See, there is silica here that I've got, but I might just leave that one for now because uh, it's literally just across from the base. So I'm not too worried about that. I think it is silica. I'll have to double check that anyway uh, and see if that is silica. Now, there are... In fact, I just remembered, did we put one over here? I think I did put two over here. I know we've got one there, and we've got one there that's powered by uh, some wind turbines there. So we need to put those in there. I think it's titanium. Is it platinum? No, uh, it's platinum and um, iron there. Yeah, that's right. It's platinum, iron, and iron. So we'll go ahead, and I'm just going to go and check the silica one first before we carry on. I just heard something behind me. Obviously not. Uh, yeah, just to check to see if that's a silica one. I will put one there. If we've got one spare. Or, um, although I have got enough materials, I could actually yeah, craft one up and put one there as well. I don't know if we're going to need one. Now, the thing is, though, what I'm going to do, I'm only going to put the beacons where the actual power, where the actual wind turbines are. So, actually, you know, let's power in each one. So, if there's two there, I'm just going to have to remember that, uh, which ores we've got there, which we should do. What's that? It's a wolf. Someone up there. I think that's a rabbit. Deer here. Yeah, there's another one over here, look. But I'm not going to put a beacon on this one. It's literally across from the base. Um, and this is the silica. So I might as well just grab some of that. Actually, look at that. We do need that because I need to get some uh, cement going. Okay. In fact, that's actually that actually filled up pretty quickly. I think it's because I've been too busy looking for the mower. Because when I was looking for the mower, another... <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and avoid saying that word. Um, when I was searching for the mount, I actually emptied that because it was uh, almost full. Uh, and we got some bees. Now, someone's mentioned as well that if we use the rifle to take out the actual um, the beehives, then, yeah, it's uh, less risky. So... Uh, anyway, but it's fine, because I don't think I'm going to be doing it that often, to be honest. Although, to be honest with you, if we do need to go into the caves, we are going to need to deal with those uh, bees, unfortunately. Uh, which is an another thing we've got to deal with. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think... Oh, look. I'm going to show you the map in a minute where that is. Uh, but if I pour, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in there... And then we'll put the rest in there. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then if we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I will put those in there as well. And then we want 100 of these. And that'll give us enough 100. I think we've actually got 100 or just over. Yep, we have. Uh, so, because I did that earlier. So, we'll go ahead and craft those. Okay. Hopefully, I don't miss the mower. Uh, it's actually almost time to sleep as well, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to hold off another bear. Can we please get a mower over here? Oh, look at him sitting up there. Try and take it out before the actual Komodo sees it. Uh, I'm going to take it all i need the bones anyway so yeah thinking about it i do need the bones okay let's just have a quick uh look around see if we see anything uh plenty of wolves and jaguars and bears around here but, yeah the other mounts that i want it's just not around there's a jaguar over there right okay yeah, I just don't know what's going on with the mowers. Right, so let me go to sleep, and then we're going to head to the next location. Hopefully, we'll find the mount that I'm looking for. I'm not to say the word now, because I know people are going to be counting how many times I say it, now that I actually mentioned it. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and sort that out. Let's go and sort this bone out, and then I'm going to get some sleep when, once we can. Uh, and then I'm going to head out again. I can actually drop those uh, screws off there, actually. We don't need those right now. And I don't need that lever. 
I'm just throwing stuff in here at the moment. Okay, so I've actually come across a beehive here. Hey, the bees actually chased me back home. Oh, crap. So I'm just wondering how to actually get into it here. I think we just got to do this. Oh, there we go. Get out of my way, you. Oh, nearly got it, nearly got it. They're a pain. They actually attacked my base, which is a bit weird. To be honest. Uh, did I get anything from that? I can't see it now. Oh, E, there we go. Okay, so we actually got to work a bit and we've got some honey. Anyway, I'm... Oh, God, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll be fine. So I was just on my way and then I realised I'd run out of... Um, I'd actually run out of... What's it called? Oxygen. So I had to turn around uh, to go and get the other one that had filled up. So, uh, which is... The, the other one's actually a pretty good one. But uh, sometimes when you've got those tanks, you completely forget about it. It's just there. Uh, so that's the only downside, I guess. So I'm going to head over to where I was actually going to go, uh, which is to put the beacon down. And I still haven't come across a mount yet, or the mount that I want anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, still haven't come across one yet. Hopefully we will do. In, in fact, I do remember down this way here that there was some um, when on the last playthrough, because that was close to, closer to where we was actually building last time. So we've just arrived here. I'm just going to go and check, see what we've got here. I think this is the iron one. I emptied it out earlier. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there's only a little bit in there. Obviously, uh, we're going to follow this. And if we get our, um, as you can see, the weather's still here, like, of course. Uh, so if we get our ammo, it's supposed to highlight it. Okay, so it's not highlighting it. That's a bit weird. Okay, well, anyway, we'll try and follow this. So obviously this is where we're going to put the actual beacon. So right here. So we'll go ahead and place that down. Uh, and this is going to be mainly for iron. And I believe platinum is over that way. So which we're going to check out in a second. So so with iron, I'm just going to put it as grey. Uh, and then we'll do that. Or silver, whatever you want to call it. So we've got that on there. Now you can see. So we've got that one there. We've got the sulfur there. And then this is going to be for the iron and it's also going to be for the platinum that's over here as well for some reason it's not showing me it usually highlights oh sorry no why i'm why am i picking it's the wire sorry wrong one yeah that's i was gonna say why isn't that not actually highlighting so obviously you can see the actual wire highlighted so this should take us to the other one that it's connected to which i believe is platinum uh, so so, and I think with platinum and titanium, I don't think we need a second one of each. I think we should be all right. Uh, I think we should be okay. I mean, look at how much we've got here. Uh, I'm just going to grab those two for now, because I don't want to be over encumbered too much. In fact, yeah, I've, yeah, because we are going to need, I'm going to grab a couple more stacks. That'll be fine. And uh, yeah, so we've done that one and still no mount yet. Uh, there is another place we've got to go to, and we've got to come over here. Uh... Now, I believe... I can't remember whether I actually did place one there or not. That's a horse. Always a horse. Uh, so, we're going to go and head over there. Uh, because I think there is two there. I just can't remember. Oh. There we yeah, there is two over there. I just can't remember which ones. And they're pretty close to each other as well. I'm sure I put them down. I'm just not 100% sure. So I'm going to go and check that out now. Uh, which way we've got to go? We'll go this way. What is that? Oh, it's just a goat. Oh, it's a chamois. Okay, we've got to go right round this. Oh, all oh, my food's run out. Interesting. Right, let's go and grab that. Grab that. And, yeah, that. There we go. We've got our four buffs there. Uh, we will get some better food later on. Uh, like, um, maybe even fish pie. We'll see. Probably curry and stuff like that. Although, I'm not really going to be doing much mission. I'm not going to be doing any missions or anything like that. It's just basically surviving and building, basically. Should I go up that way? In fact, I do need to go up there, don't I? See if I can get up here, no problem. Do 
Yeah, you know, sometimes it's really weird. You think you can get up there, it won't let you up there, and then other times, I'm going to have to go that way, it's actually easier. Uh, and then other times, you think, oh, I'm not going to be able to get up there, and then it lets you up there. So, yeah, it's a bit... Sometimes it may look like you can't get up there, but you can, and then other times it looks like you should be able to get up there, and you can't. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's just the nature of a game sometimes, isn't it, when it comes to stuff like this. I mean, I should be able to get up there, and I will get up there. Uh, let me just check. Yeah, that takes us right round. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we're going to head this way. Still no mount yet. Uh, what are the chances of me going through this whole playthrough, finishing it off, and no mount? Probably might end up having to settle for the horse in the end at this rate. Oh, that would be sad. Yeah, we, we'll find one eventually. We'll come across one eventually. It's just a matter of when. So I'm going to head over to where uh, to the sort of like where it's where you start going into the Arctic, uh, and then we can actually just go up. There's an easier way of getting up to where we're going to be going. Okay. Yeah. So it's just up there. We'll soon find out if we've got anything there. Stamina depleted. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember if I put anything up. I'm sure I did. Yeah, look here. You could actually get up here. Look, pretty easy. It's a lot easier going up this way. Yeah, and I did. I, I just had to double check. I just had to make sure. And we've actually got silica there, uh, which I do need. I'm going to check over there. I think this is iron over here. I'm not mistaken. Or is it something else? Iron, yeah, okay. So I do want the silica. Uh, so I'm going to come back here at some point and collect all that. So we're going to go ahead. So I'm going to put this as white because this is silica. I can't really put two on. Um, so, yeah, so we'll go ahead and place this down here. And we'll do this as... Uh, We'll do this as white. Uh, but I'll just have to mentally note that this is actually silica and iron. Uh, how much space have I got, actually? Because we're probably going to have to go back to base first anyway. So I'm going to grab some of the iron. Because we have got some. Okay. Uh, and then we'll grab some silica as well. Because obviously I need that silica to make the cement that we're going to need for the building and stuff. Okay, so we've actually got two silica then. That's good. So I can't remember what the other ones I wanted. And look at the weight. Uh, the amount of stuff I can carry is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so I still not got a mount. Uh, probably going to be just better to go that way. I could crouch, but I have that, uh, even with crouching, I have hurt myself. Uh, especially when it's really steep like that. Okay, so I'm going to head back then. I will come back on if uh, I find something like a mower. But if not, then we're going to continue to the next place. So I'm just checking down here. I remember coming down here to have a look. And there's actually a sulfur one just here. And I believe there's a copper one here. So I've only got three wind turbines. So we're going to have to connect those both together. And that's kind of what I was looking for. Because we've got two silica. We've got two iron. Uh, and we've also got a bear. We've also got a bear. Um, so... I would really skill him, really, but because um, you do get more input, you get more information on all the stuff from him, uh, you know, in your journal and stuff like that. I believe this one's copper. Okay, yeah, so that will give us two copper then, which is kind of what I want, so that's good. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and place this down, and then we're going to have to wire this up. It's probably going to be best, I don't know whether I can get down there, so I think it's going to be best just to kind of just wire this up going down here. And I still can't believe... Uh, I've been playing for a few hours now. 
uh, today. Obviously, I'm doing multiple videos, but um, so I'm very, very surprised that I've not come across any yet. I usually do. I wonder if I can get down here. I could get down here, actually, just to speed things up a little bit. Kind of. Because if you crouch, if you go stealth, you can actually get down here. Always easy, though. Uh, okay, so before I do anything, I just want to check on the map. So we kind of need to come over to here. Okay. So if I... What the hell? No. All right, so if I go to about here, and then we'll place that there... Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll head to that red mark and that's where we're going to place the actual uh, power because we've got three wind turbines on us and that'll power both the copper and the sulfur. So that means we've got two iron, two copper, two sulfur, two silica. Gold, one gold will be enough. One gold will be enough. One platinum, one titanium will be enough. One salt. And um, yeah, and we've also got a coal one, but that's actually closer to our base. Uh, so we can actually set that up. Uh, in fact, thinking about it, uh, 2,000 power we need. I think it's 2,000 power we need. So we've already got a wind turbine there. So if I put another one there, I can also get the coal one sorted out, which is basically right close to where we are. We only need one aluminium as well. We don't need that many. Although silica is something I'd probably want to get a third one on, uh, to be honest. But apart from that, I think we should be good with everything we've got. I mean, we could get a third one of everything. And the reason why I'm doing it with the beacons, the way I'm doing it, I think this is a perfect place here. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it with the beacons, the way I'm doing it, is just so there's less on there, you know? So there's not too many. It's not, like, overcrowded with stuff. Uh, so we've got three there. This is going to be the fourth one. Uh, and the fifth one's going to be over here. Yeah, it's going to be over here because we've basically got copper, gold, and uh, titanium there. And then also we've got a silica over there as well. Uh, so it's not too bad, not too bad at all. all right, let's go ahead and place this down And these as well I'd Like to do a little triangle I'd like to Start calling these the Bermudas uh, Right, okay, let's go ahead and connect these up then so we can go ahead and do that Oh, yeah, got to come from here on it I like to have a lot of small connections on here, uh, just in case I need to actually add anything else to the power and what, you know. There we go. So those sh should be all done. That copper should be okay. It might be a good idea just to go a bit closer and check that that's working to make sure before we continue. I can't hear anything. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. Only just, but I can hear it. So that's working. So that means we didn't have to go all the way. That's good. So now we can start heading towards where the the, the sulfur is. So we're going to go over this way. Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, it's because I've got it on that, Anna. So what I'm going to do first is I'll go ahead and put the beacon down. Now, this is sulfur and copper. So I'll kind of do like, oh, what color shall I do? What color shall I do? Um, let's have a look. And we'll place that there. Because the good thing about just having this here, and then oh, we can follow the wires of where the other, well, the other stuff is. Uh, I think we'll do, because that's going to be kind of, because uh, that's sulfur, we're going to do that as gold. Although we don't really need gold on that one, so it doesn't matter. I think we'll just do, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, what is it? It's sulfur and copper. Yeah, we'll do that one. I oh, know there's copper there. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. All right, let's go ahead and continue with this. And we need to go ahead and go all the way up here. And I can just, I've just seen a Jaguar. Now, if Jaguars were mounts and very fast mounts, I would have no problem finding it. Oh, <laughs> that's what she said. I just, <laughs> just realised that, what I've just said. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get this bit done. Okay. Nope, not that. We want that. And that's another sulfur sorted out. So we've got two sulfur, two iron, two copper. And there we go, sorted. Okay, so there's only more, one more location, really, uh, to actually put one. And that will be over here. There's kind of some... There's power just here. Uh, as you've seen, we've been actually quite quite a, quite a bit distance going around, uh, putting stuff down uh, with the beacons and that, and we still haven't come across a mount. Yeah, I'll skin you because I'll... Well, why not? Why not? Uh, I'm probably not going to take that, though. Okay, there we go. Like, it's crazy, because, uh, like I said, I have seen loads of them on this playthrough so far. I mean, what, we're on episode 20, I think? Yeah, episode 20. So, I have seen them. And I, as you can see, we've got some here. So, we've got titanium over there, which is connected to... I think there should be four here. So, titanium's over there. Copper's over up there. And we've also got gold at the top there as well. So, we can go... Is there four here? Yeah, there is four here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and place these down. Technically, I don't really need one here. Uh, but I'm going to do one anyway. And we've got gold and stuff like that. I don't think it really matters. I think we'll just go with that. Oh, hold on a minute. I forgot to change it to that. Okay, there we go. So that's basically it. We've got everything sorted. I think we're all right for our extractors now. Uh, we just need that bloody mount so we can actually get around a bit a bit quicker and a bit easier as well, which is just not happening right now. Yeah, plenty of rabbits and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, that's very, very frustrating. Let's see, I'll be doing on titanium in there, look. I'm just going to leave that to run. We don't need it constantly. Uh, if we do need it, I'll just grab it all up. Um, it should be good. Let's have a look. I'm just going to have one more look around. See if there is anything around here. I might have to go to a specific location, but I don't think there is any specific location. It's just in the forested area, so... And I'm usually always seeing them all the time. So, yeah, it's a bit baffling, isn't it, really? I wonder if Loke coming out and going back in to let them respawn in is something I might do before I do the next video, actually. Just to see. Although we'll probably be doing some building on the next one. Because we're actually getting stuff done now. Although I do need some more steel. We've got a little bit of steel, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I am going to call it here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe. And click that rusty bell to be informed of future videos. And with that... Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video.